That was Harvard professor Hussein Kalut. Venezuela has announced three days of national mourning following the shocking murder of a young and popular congressman. 27-year-old Robert Serra and a female companion were found dead in the lawmaker's home this week. Venezuela's government claims the attack is part of a right-wing terrorist plot. CCTV's Martin Markovitz has the latest. He was a young political upstart who formed a close bond with Hugo Chavez. But lawmaker Robert Serra also apparently had enemies, as authorities say his brutal killing was intentional. He and his female companion, Maria Herrera, were stabbed multiple times late Wednesday night at Serra's home in the working-class neighborhood he represented in central Caracas. Robert Serra, Robert Serra was an important leader of the United Socialist Party of Venezuela's youth, very committed to the revolutionary process and the commander. Certainly his death was due to a macabre assignment. Serra's death has sent shockwaves across the country. An unapologetic socialist, he was seen as a star in social media and controversial for ferociously attacking Venezuela's opposition and upper classes. Some of the low-income areas he represented are controlled by armed political groups loyal to the government. We have the majority of the Venezuelan people behind us. The government says his strong defense of President Maduro when Venezuela was rocked by massive protests earlier this year made him a target. The Venezuelan president claims Serra's murder is part of a plot to overthrow his administration. Grupos terroristas. Terrorist groups encouraged by sectors of Venezuela's ultra-right and Colombian paramilitary groups are behind this to bring violence to our country. But Venezuela's opposition leadership instead calls Serra's death indicative of the country's sky-high crime rate, which has made Venezuela one of the most dangerous countries in the world. Thousands of mourners have come here to Venezuela's National Assembly to pay their final respects to Robert Serra. A testament to the political power this 27-year-old had in his working-class district and beyond. Olivia Espinosa waited in line for more than eight hours to get a glimpse of his casket. Like Seda, she too is a member of the Socialist Party's Youth League and feels that an important voice has been lost. He made his voice heard and became the first young congressman in the assembly. He was never afraid to tell them the truth. An opposition protest march planned for Saturday was canceled in a show of respect to Seda, a rare political compromise in a deeply polarized country. Martin Markovitz, CCTV, Caracas.